All right, folks, good early evening. It's Thursday, June 21st, it's about 5.30 p.m. Uh, I started cutting. I started cutting the alfalfa to make high moisture alfalfa baleage. That is the reason why these are in a windrow. They're not spread out nice for a, uh, for a dry, for drying. Extremely, extremely happy with the disc vine. Uh, just as I was last year when it was brand new. Um, I'm really curious about these holes. Obviously that's for an add-on. It's not a huge deal, but the alfalfa and even grassy hay kind of gets stuck in it. Not a huge deal. Um, okay, this video is barely, is barely fair. I'm, I'm in one of the very good spots of this field. got to be honest with you I'm really I'm really surprised I'm not kicking stones I'm not disappointed but uh, I'm a little surprised a couple things is going on here number one this alfalfa field took a hell of a hit a big hit um, this past winter and what I mean by that is, you know, our winters are harsh, but one of the, one of, a big killer for alfalfa is um, freezing water, a stand of water um, in a freeze. What I'm trying to say is we had a whole bunch of warm-ups this, uh, this very early spring, late winter, to where a, a lot of, it melted and then froze up and had below zero temperatures. There's a lot of places in this field where it just, it suffered severely, severely. Um, mainly, mainly on the west end of the field, there's about three or four very bad spots and they're, and they're big areas, they really are. Um, yeah, you can see what we got for a product here. Um, obviously I have my rollers my rubber on rubber rollers of the disc bind, the method of that madness is you find the no tensions point and then I give it about another seven, a seven rounds loosening. I don't want this crimped and it's not crimping it. It's actually doing a, a phenomenal job. Um, it's laying it down real nice. This is a pretty, this is a thick spot. This is a, this is some very, very good alfalfa. It's a little more mature than, uh, you know, your dairy farmers, this is way mature for them. A lot of the uh, RFV, the relative feed value, um, has been lost. But I'm, I'm looking for, uh, I'm look for, looking for just as much quantity as I am quality. So I'm basically taking a happy medium. This alfalfa um, is, some of it started blooming. Here, you can tell right here. It started to bloom out. It's coming into its flower stages. It's, it's almost there. Um, as you can see, there's, I mean, we'd have to really search to go find 10 plants right now that have uh, come into their flower stage. I'd have to say, going after quality and quantity together, I'm at the exact right time for cutting. I'm very happy about that. Um, another small complaint that I'm seeing you know, there's a lot you can't see just uh, driving from the road. And you know, it's not like it would have made a difference if I would have came and walked in here. All right, see here. Oh no, this is, that's weed. Is I'm starting to see a heck of a lot more grass growth than what I figured. Um, this is all gonna go in the top-notch alfalfa baleage this year. I gotta be honest with you, what I'm seeing right now, unless there's something I can do, which I don't think there is. Remember, I spread 0060 potash on this. There was no nitrogen on this end. 
from what I'm seeing right now, if this grass growth gets a little, a little heavier, like next year, I can't sell this as a pure alfalfa baleage. It's, it's still going to go into baleage, but it can't be sold as pure. And what I'm getting at is for the deer feeders. Laugh if you want, but um, that's become a, uh, a fair business in this part, making wrapped alfalfa for uh, the people that like feeding their deer. Deer love it, hunters love it, it's good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to see a lot of this. A hell of a lot more than what I seen from just, you know, parked along the road when I was working up the oat field. And then of course the corn field is just west of here. So, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty, it's a medium crop. As I said, this video is not very fair. We're in a very nice thick spot here. This, this is the thick end of it. There's a lot of very, uh, very meek, meek areas. So, anyway. Other than that, the tractor's doing just fine. Everything's being handled good. The disc bind, love it. Absolutely love it. And uh, there are some lower areas here that I gotta watch. So far, I'm good. I think there's one spot I haven't encountered yet, which I believe is right here in this area. Um, I've had to kick the four-wheel drive on just for an in-case a few times already, but um, the low spots aren't that bad. They really aren't. 